public announcement. Tomorrow my channel uh, celebrates one year since I uploaded my first video and it was FormBot to the 350 Voron 2.4 kit. I'm happy to have you guys. Uh, I would be a tiny bit happier if you could subscribe and uh, share these videos so we can support my channel and support what I'm doing if you like it. But if you don't, well, at least I have a cake. Okay, now is the official part put out of the way. I present to you... Boron Formboot 350 kit. One year later. Well, uh, the problem is that it doesn't fit my camera, so I presume I will have to drag it back and uh, yeah, show you chunk by chunk. First parts, panels. And I would say they look better than before because before they were like cut with a jigsaw. Oh, the Coroplast panel are not Coroplast anymore. These are ABS panels. Yes, this is an ABS. As you can see, it has been cut on the uh, CNC without soft without soft base, without soft table, and it's pretty much heavy, heavily scratched, you can see it here. Uh, I don't think it changes anything, but this is a bit of downgrade towards a more cheaper version. Plate number two, a combined plate for body of everything, electronics, uh, motion parts and everything else. Hey, let's take a look on the linear rails and uh, I believe, yes, this is uh, some unbranded Chinese, now branded with Vividina, which is the company behind the form mode. Oh, and we have a first downgrade, the fans, because these fans, they were used to push the air uh, underneath the printer. Last time the, these were Sanon, now it's some generic crap. Okay, zip ties. Nothing interesting here. Oh, insulating foam. Uh, they heard us and the insulating foam is much, much thicker, which is good. Because otherwise it would make zero sense. Power plug. Uh, oh, SSR. SSR is Gen G3 and V. So the same as usual. By the way, it worked very good after one year, uh, with uh, maybe a minor exception that it started to become a bit noisier. As previously, if you are ordering one of the dragons, they're still sending you an A3D uh, and you're getting dragon in a separate package. Uh, this is one small blower fan. Why do I need this? Ah, okay, for the hot end, of course. For the part of cooling. Generic chain three holes. Clip. So far this is basically the same I got a year ago. Why it's all like thrown in one piece? Power plug. What is that? Oh, this is one uh, single box for the TMCs. Good one. Rubber legs. More generic, you can print them, you can, I don't know, uh, pour them with pay resin. No, the pay resin, polyurethane resin. They don't include Raspberry Pi, but they still are putting a 32 gigs SD card. So, VHB and another insulating tape. Still thicker than the last time. And fixings. So what do we have here? Um, I see one major difference. Yes, these are stainless. These are stainless. These are well marked. And the shims, let me get them out. The shims, yeah, the tiny little shims that we were having with all these foreign kits, one millimeter spacers, they are also stainless steel. They're not uh, copper or brass or something that they used to be. This is good, however, I don't like the um, steel bolts that much. It's easier to forbear them. Okay, one more pack of cable chains. EFT. 
belt, belt. They do still provide you some microfit connectors, but I suppose these are the replacement ones because, well, uh, you are meant to use this thing, which is the pre crimped kit. And the pre crimped kit starts with these all cool tiny spacers, not the spacers, but the uh, cable attachments. So these are, I don't know if you can see it, but these are like tiny, tiny clips that you can glue to your printer back and. Uh, work your wiring out. Definitely an upgrade. Uh, as for the cable kit, I won't use the cable kit much because I'm planning to use a can from BTT when it arrives. But still, let's see what's inside. Vegos probe and they say this is a steel 05 probe with bad diode and in a configuration when you're using two ports and one port was octopus. But where is the probe? Where is the probe? Where is the probe? Oh, found it. It fell down the box. And this is, by the way, finally, it's not PL. It's not PL prop, it's uh, Genuine Omron TLQ5MC2. And by the way, yes, this is MC2, this is the second version of this prop. This is a good one. This is definitely an upgrade. I can even forgive the panel. Uh, X1 motors, Z motors, E motor. What the hell is that AC part? <laughs> oh no, they're not just putting everything like in AC part, they're 20 watt PSU and to va towards Vago uh, 415 uh, power inlet and to Vago and so on and so forth. So this is be actually beautifully marked. This is a well done kit. Well, as far as you can judge it before I assemble that. Um, well, that fence, power for tool auto calibration and stop what? Uh, heater. Uh, what's that? Termistor? Yeah, termistor. Another. Thermistor and stops, so I presume we will be having a, a PCB for the end stop somewhere. What is that? Fence and fence. This looks like a decent pre creeping job and definitely worth not spending six hours of your life doing it yourself. NTC thermistor. I think I don't like it, it's like it's either a shipment issue or everything was just basically thrown here like okay now leave with it a fan like lying somewhere and uh, yeah I also have a heater and a fuse for the bed somewhere inside the motion elements and like why but nevertheless motion elements uh, belts for Z motors GT pulleys GT pulleys, magnets, rods, again pulleys, pulleys, longer rods, pulleys, same uh, nuts for the bed. Oh, and another one motion, or oh, not motion, but electronic element. And this is interesting one because we have two PCBs here. So there is one PCB of the Z end stop. I should take a look what should I print for that. And there is another one, which is terrible soldered. So there's like a lot of traces of flux here. Another PCB for the XY end stops. So the end stop PCB are good. No, they're not. They're terrible soldered, but I believe they will work. Okay, there is nothing that's not going to work here. This is just simple buttons. That's all for the motion elements. This is big one, 24 watts PSU. PSU, yes, the same as here before. 5 volt PSU. Who's powering your uh, yeah? Who's powering your 
uh, whatever controller you're having from the power supply. You have power supply at the motherboard. Um, and uh, the screen, yeah, the simple screen, another rubber duck. I do have a collection of them already. So when you're doing a lot of 3D printing, you're ending up with two things. One, a lot of rubber ducks because BTT, uh, B3 tech, and another one with a lot of uh, strange uh, sweets from Lecter. Oh yeah, another rubber duck. Octopus, 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 you know what octo octopus is, this is a default and unfortunately I won't be using it because I will be using the Manta with CB1. I'm waiting for them to arrive. So this time I decided to go with four warrants uh, for my 3D printing workshop and uh, I'm going to use uh, Manta plus CB1 plus full can integration. Screw the wires. One more plate, the bed. The bed, the bed, the bed. Vividino heater, not Finova. Uh, did work okay. Yeah, I've been printing for a year, it did work okay. Magnetic bed, this one is textured. I do suggest to throw this piece of crap away and uh, use an order an energetic 3D flat pay plate. Awesome. Precision machined zero millimeter flatness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the final layer of the box. Yeah, this is the final one. Oh, moons. Really? Moons. Oh my god. We got moons motors. This is the biggest upgrade uh, since the well, since the last. Uh, since I bought the first kit. Extruder motor, moons. Stepper motor, moons. This is awesome. This is really awesome. We of course have all the schematic for the moons motor, but this is really a serious upgrade because the uh, steppers, they, they, they do hit. I don't know how they held up for a year or so. Um, they are not the best ones. These are the thing. Okay, uh, 62 bearings. I believe this is the extruder kit. Yes, the extruder kit. The usual one. RS bearings. Angles for the bed. And big pulleys for the Z motors. Uh, yeah, nothing to say here. I might see if I'm. If I dig over to something. No. Uh, extrusions the same oh no not the same because previously we had extrusions which were cut and uh, first uh, anodized then cut so we had these white uh, edges currently these ones they are cut and then anodized so you're getting a nice black finish what can i say about this kit this is an upgrade this is an upgrade what they did a year ago first better motors but, uh, awesome wiring, awesome wiring. This is really a good job to start with. Um, I believe a little worse panels, but well, really the two uh, downgrades are the panels, like a minor down downgrade, and the fans. Fans are worse. Okay, you get your sun sun and you forget it. Motors are better, extrusions are better made. Um, wiring is awesomely done. A little small details like this uh, cable cable attachments are added, better tape, uh, better everything and I would say that uh, FormBot is really doing the job to providing the best foreign kits for the price range of course. Yeah, that's it for tonight, thanks for watching, please subscribe and support this channel and see you around.